This post in particular has been making a lot of waves in the anime and manga community for the past few days now, and it's all thanks to the offer of Rent a Girlfriend. This is their official account on social media, and they decided to post this for the entire world to see, and obviously, as soon as you see this image, it is outright ridiculous for a variety of reasons. For one, the level of detail on this bra for Chizuru is just... It's insane. Like, okay, say whatever you want about Rent a Girlfriend. Like, the artwork right here is legitimately, like, ridiculously godlike. Like, look at the line work, the way it's detailed. It's actually insane. Like, look at, you know, Kazuya's face here and just how his detail of his face and his reaction and this being in the dryer. It's actually wild. I I'm legitimately shocked by just the actual detail of this panel here but what's even funnier is is when you actually compare it to everything that's going on like this is the pages that the author himself even posted like of the chapter you see this and then it goes to this and then you got this like i, I want to point this out real quick okay look at the level of detail here the page prior this is literally the page prior you literally have lack of backgrounds for like two panels and then you go to the next page and you have this high quality high level of detail to the brawl and it's just like when you see this type of stuff, it makes a lot of sense why Rent-A-Girlfriend is infamous and why a lot of people just continuously crap on this series for years because it's like, we are, at this point in time, 330 chapters deep. Now, to be fair, this content that, you know, Reiji, the author of Rent-A-Girlfriend, is showing, this isn't the latest chapter. I, I checked the latest chapter, you know, I literally went to it, and it does not happen in chapter 331. So, for those that are wondering if this content is from the latest chapter, it is, in fact, not. But, it does not change the fact, though, that when I you take a look at the latest content of, like, Rent-A-Girlfriend, Chapter 331, and previous stuff, there's next to no progression. Literally, this entire chapter here, the latest chapter, is about Kazuya just wanting to get dressed, finding clothes, and she's questioning if she's even in love with Kazuya, so to speak. And it's just like, bro... Like, bro, you're 330 chapters deep! Like, why are you still questioning are you in love or not? It is actually insane how this series has managed to go on with literally no progression for 330 plus chapters. It is literally the meme. It is the meme of rom-coms and romance and stuff just never having any romantic progression at all. Like... This is what I talk about when I talk about, like, Uzaki-chan and Nagatoro in a very good light. I, oh yeah, this image, I'll talk about this in a second. I'll explain this in a second if you don't know. But it's like, this is why I talk about Uzaki-chan in a very good light. Because it's like, the progression within just, like, a hundred chapters is insane. Where we're now continuing past the point of them being together, literally doing the deed, and riding the golden dragon, so to speak, and Uzaki being exhausted by it. You know, we're having progression there. And it's not just Uzaki. We have the stuff with, you know, Anjo-san, we have the stuff with Nagatoro, there's a lot of progression happening this year, Boku Yaiba, I, like, a lot of romance manga and rom-coms, etc, and let's not even get into the 100 Girlfriends, they, they have this solid progression that is absolutely incredible, but then you take a look at Rent-A-Girlfriend, it's sitting at 330 chapters, and somehow this stuff has had literally almost 0% progression, and it is overwhelmingly popular in Japan, I just, I don't understand it, I legitimately do not understand how Rent-A-Girlfriend is so overwhelmingly popular and it has managed to last this long with just stuff like this that the offer shows. And I want to talk about that for a second, okay? It's like, Reiji, he knows what he's doing and I, I want to give credit where credit is due before I go any further. Obviously, I'm ragging on Rent a girlfriend, okay? I am, I'm, I'm talking down about it. Like, I'm not, I'm like, obviously I'm dissing it to a degree. But, I will give respect where respect is due. Reiji, the author of Rent a Girlfriend, clearly knows what his audience wants, clearly knows the niche that he's carved out in the manga, you know, industry for himself, and because of that, he's doing what, you know, he knows to do, what will sell his series, what will get attention, etc., and obviously, a post like this, even to those that do not like Rent a Girlfriend, or don't read Rent a Girlfriend, will talk about Rent a Girlfriend, and will spread to others about Rent a Girlfriend, and it's legitimately interesting 
posting, just seeing the the offer, knowing what they're doing. Like, it's very clear when the offer posted this, and you take a look at the, like, latest post and stuff, they clearly know. They they know. They know what they're doing. They, they 100% know what they've posted, and it's honestly, it's hilarious. Mad respect, honestly, to Reiji. Like, I, I, I'm gonna say, like, I respect him as an offer, knowing how to, you know, basically get that bag, but also know to give what, like, his audience wants. It's like, you know, Hiromashima from Fairy Tale. Like, you know, Hiromashima obviously is a very infamous offer as well. He's obviously, you know, talked about in a negative light a lot in terms of just, like, you know, his storytelling and all that. But regardless of how you feel about his works, it's very clear he has a passionate audience. And when he does write stuff, he does cater to what his audience wants. And... He makes money from it. I mean, he's had multiple successful series, and that's something that not many offers can really say they have had. So, that, that you know, respect to Hero Mashim as well. So, I feel like that's in the same vein as Reiji here, that he knows what his audience wants, and he just continues to cater to it, because until the series finally starts to die, he's going to continue doing stuff like this for his entire manga. For instance, having multiple chapters, basically just Chizuru questioning if she is even in love with Kazuya to begin with. It's just, it's... This is madness to me. Like, it feels like legitimate insanity. Like, you're in a padded room, just straight up, like, just going insane. Like, that. that's what this is. Because it's, like, pretty much no regression, the same thing over and over again. On top of that as well, I'm going to bring up this image. So, I've talked about this in the past, but this is also very relevant to the situation. The offer of Rent a Girlfriend, so, you know, citation needed, so to speak, on what I'm about to say. But, from my understanding, from what I've seen for a long time, he is very infatuated with Chizuru. Like, his character he has written in Rent a Girlfriend, and how you know, infatuated he is, he literally got jealous when o Otaku, like a fan, had a life-size statue of Chizuru who was going around dating her for a day. He got jealous and upset, and I believe he took the, the statue for himself. Like, I, I believe so. Correct me if I'm wrong. This is why I said citation needed. But what I'm trying to say is, is that he really loves Chizuru. That is definitely a thing. It's, you know, Chizuru is his favorite character. He's very jealous, and I think one of the big reasons for that is, like, one, one of the reasons why he continues to write the series for so long is because he likes Chizuru so much. It's just, it's funny. It, it, it's, it's so funny, but the community reaction to this is actually wild. Obviously, you have people making posts like this, and it's just... <laughs> <laughs> like, bro, like, why is this so detailed? Like, seriously, can we truly talk about that for a second? Like, why is a series that obviously has just, like, no progression have such high detail artwork? It's like, why, man? Why use your talents for this, bro? Like, there's so many other series that could use this level of detail and with great writing. It's just like, why, man? Like, why? <laughs> Even though it's the essence of a no progression for a manga, I just, I can't help but respect Reiji. I, I, I can't, man. Like, as much as obviously this video might come off as, like, against Rent, a girlfriend, I'm just impressed, man. I, I'm just impressed how he manages to get such a cult following. I mean, he, he knows what he's doing, and I, I like I said, mad respect. But, uh, yeah, I wanted to talk about this. I mean, I... Yeah. <laughs> What's your thoughts on Kazuya getting shocked and embarrassed about a bra? Like, th this man is getting embarrassed about a bra while we have stuff like this happening. <laughs> Sorry, a 100 chapter series, a 330 chapter series, a 100 chapter series, 330 chapter series. D did I make my point clear? <laughs> But okay, um, I'll leave it at that though. Thank you so much for watching. May you all have a fantastic day or not wherever you live. I love you. Leave a like on the video if you enjoyed it. Chibi out.